and the rain. Oh, I'm so glad the sun's out. I am tired of the rain. Morning, guys. Uh, here we are again. Another episode of Belizean Studies class with Mr. Marsden. I'm joined today by Alexia Ab Alexia Abbey Oliveira. This is the part where you say morning. Morning, sir. <laughs> All right. And Verlin Lawrence, but there we can't hear Vera because her headphones aren't quite working. But she's there and she's participating in the chat and we're gonna we're gonna get cracking. Um, because this week, very exciting things. We're moving on to a new topic, guys. Um, we've been talking a lot about identity, uh, a lot about the group, groups around us and our communities, and we're going to use a bit of that information because we're still going to be talking about certain cultural groups and certain beliefs uh, that form part of your identity, but we are going to be looking at the origins of the universe, the origins of the universe and of us, Belizeans. What, is that, what does that even mean? Like, what is... What makes a Belizean? Well, we're going to find out. We're going to be talking about that for the next, up until uh, maybe until Christmas break. Ooh, yeah, it's going to be a while. Um, we start with differentiating a few terms. There are a few terms that we're going to be using for the next few weeks, and we need to know what the difference between those terms are. We're going to be talking about facts, opinions, myths, and theories. So uh, hopefully by the end of this session, we will know what's the difference between a fact and an opinion, a myth, a theory. Um, we're going to be able to identify those when we see them either on paper or when we hear someone talking about them. We're going to be able to say, oh, that is a fact. Nope, nope, that's just your opinion. And we're going to be able to say uh, that's a myth or that's that's a theory, that's a valid theory. Um, and we're gonna discuss possibly some of the connections between all of those things. Even though they're different things, they might have some things in common, they might have some things that are similar, and hopefully we have enough time to talk about those. Ver has a question. What is your question, madam? I shouldn't call you madam, madam's an old lady. What's your question, miss? We also have a new raise hand feature, so if anybody wants to interrupt me at any time, they can click at the bottom and raise their hands. Good morning, Ira. Are myths like, and I assume you're talking about Aphrodite? Uh, okay, so um, we can use the word myth in the same way that we use legend or story. Um, and so, yes, Aphrodite is a legendary figure. She's a figure from a really old story. Um, Hercules is another legendary figure. Uh, and those all belong to certain myths there. And, and that is focusing on maybe, possibly, arguably, the most famous mythology, which is Greek mythology. Um, that has spread all over the world um, for some reason. It's one of the oldest and maybe, maybe because of wars and other reasons, it's spread everywhere. So everybody knows a little bit of Greek mythology. But how much do we know about Mayan mythology? How much do we know about uh, Chinese or Iroquois mythology or um, Korean mythology? Korean mythology is really interesting uh, because the president of Korea, president of South Korea, uh, traces his lineage back to an ancient hero who once tamed a unicorn. So are myths real? Are myths true? Um, well, we're, we're going to find out there. It's a little bit of A, a little bit of B, a little bit of truth and a little bit of story, embellishment, right? Okay. Um, so yes, that's what we have going on. Thank you for that question, Ver. That was a really good one. And um, we're going to be we're going to be exploring some of those ideas. Oh, wrong, wrong key. Uh, morning, Kira. Uh, as usual, oh, sorry. As usual, I would ask you guys to prepare your pages using the Cornell note style. Um, I know it gets kind of old sometimes, but 
We have to be consistent with it. Oh, um, great announcement that I have for you guys this morning. We will not be having a final exam this year. That was decided uh, over the weekend by the principal and vice principal. No final exam, but we will be having a final project. So I am going to ask you, um, right now we're doing some practice. We spoke about research previously. We're getting in the practice. And uh, for our final project, I'm going to ask you to go out, find information about a certain topic, and you guys have to gather all that data and present it, because that's the last part of research, right? We present it to other people. We share our information. Um, and yeah, that's going to be our big, our big project for the end of the year. So look out for that. Um, and part of that is making sure that you collect all your information in nice, easy to read notes. Um, so please be consistent with the Cornell note style. Uh, one horizontal line across the bottom, one vertical line meeting that. The left side will be for your guiding questions. The right side will be for your actual information. And then we summarize at the bottom. I have a feeling we're going to run out of time today, but we're, we'll give it a shot anyway. OK. Um, so what's the difference? Uh, today, we are going to begin by taking a look at a few of the terms. Um, we will start with facts and opinions. Um, these are maybe, maybe the more complicated ones to understand. Uh, and so our guiding questions for this part of the morning are, what is a fact? What is an opinion? How can I recognize the two? How can I recognize a fact? How can I recognize an opinion? Um, I've included, uh, good morning, Arlen. I've included a video for you guys. Um, which we won't play right now because of our time thing. Um, but I will ask you guys in your time to go back and take a look at that video. That's a really great video that Mr. Bardales provided. Mr. Bardales teaches 1D Belizean studies. And um, you, he's included this video for us. It's really good. I reviewed, I reviewed it. All the things that we're about to talk about are talked about in that video, maybe even with better examples. So on your own time, go back, watch this video. Um, make sure you have your notebook handy and you have your guiding questions ready before you move on to the next slide. For now, we're going to skip it. Oh, uh, no! Opinion. I said we're going to skip Grammar it. At Songs by Melissa. Fact and opinion. G At Grammar Songs by Melissa. Okay. That's a what problem. What is the difference between a fact? It's still, okay. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so what is a fact, right? Um, a fact is basically anything that can be proven to be true or untrue, and we can prove it using observation, measurement, or written record. Ira. Do you remember what are the different ways that we make observations? Hmm. Or I'll throw it out to anybody. Anybody remember how we make observations? Ira sounds like you had you had something there. And then you thought you got out of it. How do we observe? How do we make observations? Anybody at all? Mm. Ask questions and look around. Um, that's a pretty good one, uh, Verlin. We, we can look around. We can literally look with our eyes. We can observe something I have on headphones, but we can observe something by listening. Alexia? So we can also um, look at stuff like see the difference between this. Okay, if I have a book, I can, and I have another book, probably this book has hearts on it and the other one has stars on it, or probably this one has lines in it and the next one doesn't. So 
we it's almost the same thing as Verlin says. We look around and make differences and observe. That's my Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you both. Uh, we observe using our physical senses. We can look at it. We can feel it. And then we can process some information in our minds, in our brains, and notice differences, notice patterns. Um, so our five physical senses plus our sixth sense that exists in our minds. Uh, excellent. That's how we make observations, right? Um, uh, so anything that we can observe with our five physical senses and our mental sense, anything that we can measure, meaning if I can, um, where's my ruler? I lost my ruler. If I can pick up a ruler and actually count or measure uh, how many inches or centimeters something is, if I can put it on a scale and weigh how heavy it is, if I can, uh, what else, how else can I measure something? I can measure speed, right? I can track how fast something is going. Um, that's another way I can prove some, a statement to be true or false, or to be true or untrue, and therefore that would make it a fact. And if it's a matter of written record, meaning somebody else already did the research, somebody else already made the observations, they wrote it all down, and I can go back and find that information again. So you should know that something can be a fact because this is something we confuse a lot of times, something can be a fact, but still be wrong or still be false. Um, remember, a fact is something that you can prove to be true or untrue by observing, measuring, or, or looking at a written record. Um, so if I were to say that um, my hair is straight, my hair is very straight. Is that a fact? Yes, because you can observe, you can look at my hair, and you can say whether that statement is true or untrue. Is it a true fact? No. Obviously, you look at my hair, it's not straight, it's not long and wavy and straight. That's, that's a false fact. That's fake news, as President Trump would say. Yeah, he's still president. Um, so something can be a fact, but it can also be untrue at the same time, right? An opinion, on the other hand, is a view or a judgment about something that is based on someone's feelings, someone's beliefs, but cannot be measured or proven. If I say my hair is the best hair in the world, can I measure that how can we measure how good hair is is there any way to decide for sure maybe i feel really good about my hair that is based on my feelings um maybe i think that uh black pink is the best band uh best group in all of music dumb um that is based on my feelings my thoughts my beliefs can it be proven to be true or untrue well, maybe we can look at record sales, but that doesn't make them the best, right? That just makes them successful. That's whatever it is. Uh, I keep pressing the wrong thing. Um, how do we recognize a fact? So since facts can be proven by observing, by measuring, or through a written record, there are a few ways that we can definitely identify facts when we see or hear them. Um, if it is something that can be looked at, observed, heard, noticed, that thing is a fact. If it's something that we can actually measure or compare, that is a fact. If it's something that we can find evidence of that is written down somewhere, that is also a fact. Again, remember, might still be false, but it's still a fact. Okay, so if we said Mr. Marsden's glasses are crooked, is that a fact? Why not, Arlon? Sir, because we haven't seen Mr. Marsden. Oh, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, me. M. Uh, sir, we, we can know it's not an M. 
it's not true because your glass is is not crooked because we are in okay, observing I, you right I now. I didn't. I didn't ask if it was true. I asked if it was a fact. Can you observe it? Can you measure it? Yes, sir. We can observe it. So but we can observe we it. Therefore, it is a fact. Maybe right now it's not crooked, which makes it a false fact, but it's still a fact. Um, uh, what do I have here? Oh, 1A has more students than any other class. Is that a fact? Sir, we don't know if um, 1A have many more um, students, sir, because we haven't um, encountered all the students yet. Okay, all right. We're going to get you to change that thinking. Can you find out if it's true or false? Yes, sir. If you can find out if it's true or false, it is a fact. So we can measure it. We can go into the other classes. We can count how many students are there. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's true or false. As long as we can measure it, we can observe it, we can find a written record, that makes it a fact. One more. Uh, Belize gained independence in 1981. Is that a fact? Yes, sir. Why? Sir, because um, how they call it? we can go into the Belize. Um, I forget the name of the book. And then we can um, see it or um, go to the museum and ask questions about when the Belize got independence. Excellent. Now we're getting it. We can go and find out if it's true or false. We can look in a history book. We can uh, uh, go to the museum and find evidence or artifacts. Uh, as long as we can prove if it's true or false, we can state it as a fact. Will it always be a correct fact? No. But you can always find out if it's true or false. Uh, on the other hand, we have opinions. And opinions are based on feelings or beliefs. Uh, this means that we can identify them by looking for certain signal words. Usually there'll be certain adjectives. You guys know the difference between adjectives and adverbs by now and nouns and pronouns. That's baby stuff, right? So we're looking for adjectives. We're looking for words that describe um, what we're talking about. And if they talk about certain strong feelings or certain things that cannot be proven because it might be different for each person, then we are talking about an opinion. Mr. Marsden's glasses are very annoying. Is that a fact or an opinion? What's the question, sir? Mr. Marsden's glasses are very annoying. Is that statement a fact or an opinion? No, sir, it's not annoying. That wasn't the question. Question is, is that statement a fact or an opinion? An opinion, says Ver. What makes it an opinion? Yeah, because not everyone thinks that. Boom. Thank you, Shiler. Welcome. Uh, not everyone might think so. Some people might think it's annoying. Some people might not. And there's no way we can know for sure. We can't measure how annoying something is. Uh, so we can't look at it. Morning, Ileana. Uh, let's see. 1B is the coolest class. Fact or opinion? Opinion. Why is it an opinion? Sir, um, sir we, we haven't, we don't know if it's really cool or not, sir. Some people may think it's cool. I don't think it's <laughs> okay. Wow, mm, traitor. All right. Um, hey, okay, cool. So, uh, it, some people might think they're the coolest class, some people might think differently. We can't really prove it until we get a cooler meter. I think I feel like Malik, Malik is either uh, feeling really good about 1B or. Uh, he's found the loophole that I just realized that I made in the statement. Malik, why do you say it's a fact? Uh, 
Sir, what do we say? What? What do we say? What is a fuck? So I said one B is the coolest class, and Malik said that's a fact. Maybe he was just messing around, but I did I did leave in like a loophole. I did leave in a mistake in that statement um, that might make it a fact. Anybody know what it is? Sir, it would be based on, I think it would be based on your opinion because you're the teacher okay. here and <laughs> you know exactly because we haven't seen others. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, so if I was using cool in the sense like you guys are cool, you guys are awesome, you guys are great, you guys are wonderful, um, then that would be an opinion. But if I was using cool as in not hot in terms of temperature, um, then, I mean, that is something that we could technically measure if we really wanted to. Um, it would be difficult, but we could technically measure it. Um, so that's, that's a bit of a, maybe I'll, maybe I'll not use that statement next time. Um, all right, uh, Belize is the most beautiful country in the world. Fact or opinion? Opinion? Mm. Why? So I think that. <laughs> All right, we'll get back to you, Kira. Uh, Eliana says that it's an opinion. Why do you say that it's an opinion? So I think it's a fact because, well, we as Belizean, we will say that our country is the most beautiful, although it might not be, but. I think everybody thinks that their country is the most beautiful or something like that. So we as believe then we want to talk good about our country. Okay, so you said something very important there. Everyone thinks that their country is the most important, meaning everyone has a different feeling about this statement. Uh, if we asked, told someone in Costa Rica, they might say, no, 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 no. Uh, Costa Rica is the most beautiful. We asked someone in... Um, Uganda, they'd say, no, 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 Uganda is the most beautiful. So it is beautiful, sure. Can we measure beauty? Um, I'm yeah. sure we can observe it, but everybody will have a different, different thought about what beauty is. Uh, so it cannot be proven absolutely to be true or false. Therefore, it is an opinion. Everybody has a different feeling about it. And it's based on feelings. It's based on our thoughts, based on our beliefs. Right? Um, okay. So facts are measurable things. Facts are things that we can look at. Um, we can measure it in some way and actually get a mathematical reading of whether it's true or false. Uh, or things that have been written down or recorded in history. Opinions are things that we think, we feel, um, things that are parts of our beliefs, but other people might have different feelings. Other people might have different beliefs. And therefore, we cannot prove it to be true or false. It's still, it's still a tough one. We'll, we'll probably go over a few more uh, later on. Uh, let's try a few of these ones out. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you guys specifically, uh, Alexia, Arlen, Ira, um, even Malik. All right, all right. We haven't heard from Chelsea so far. Hi, Chelsea. Uh, I don't. Can you? Is there any way you can like tilt your camera down a little bit? I'm just seeing almost like just the top of your head. Excellent. Beautiful. Wonderful. Um, hey, Chelsea. If I said tigers are the largest of all cats, would you say that is a fact or an opinion? A fact. What makes it a fact? Well, if you can prove it, it's a fact. So can we, how, how can we prove that tigers are the largest of all cats? Research or observe. Research. We can observe. We can go and look at all the other cats. We can measure them and see, okay, this one's bigger than that one. Actually, a lion is bigger than a tiger. So we, can we can come prove it. 
we can compare, yeah. right? We can make that observation in our minds and process it, and we can make that comparison. Good job, Chelsea. Um, Ineas, Ineas is invisible uh, behind the galaxy there, but he's somewhere in the galaxy, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Ineas, uh, I should be getting an allowance. Is that a fact or an opinion? What if I said I deserve to get an allowance? An opinion? opinion? Why? Why do you say so? Because you can think one thing, but your parents can be thinking another thing. That's absolutely right. Uh, there's no way we can absolutely prove it. Uh, that's your feeling. That's your belief. And somebody else might have a completely different feeling or belief. Excellent job. Uh, who do we have next? Um, I'll start back from the... T uh, actually, let's go. Eliana. Eliana, a wind turbine is a modern windmill used to generate electricity. Is that statement a fact or an opinion? A fact. What makes it a fact? How do you know? I didn't catch it. Sir, can I help? Sure. Sir, we can, um, it's a fact because we can learn about the wind turbine and um, see if it does produce electricity. Excellent. So we can do research. We can look in, uh, check on the internet, look in an encyclopedia, look at a dictionary and say what is a wind turbine and it'll it'll tell us we'll have some kind of written record right so we can prove that to be true or false that makes it a fact um ira the kiskidi is the national bird of belize is that a fact or an opinion the opinion oh thank you ira but your voice got suddenly got so low that's that's weird That one was for Ira Arlen. Uh, Ira, you want to you want to take a crack at it? The kiskidi is the national bird of Belize. Is that a fact or an opinion? It's a fact, cause what makes well, it a fact? Cause there is a possibility that it could be, but okay. I guess it's a opinion. Too. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Is there some way we can tr prove whether the statement is true or false? Yes, sir. How, how would we do that? So you can research it, and it's a toucan that's the national bird of Belize. All right, so we can research it, we can look it up in a book somewhere, and we can find out whether it's true or false, which makes it a fact. It is a false fact. It's wrong, as Shiler said, it is actually the toucan that's the national bird, uh, but that still makes it a fact. We can prove it to be true or untrue. Good job. Um, I lost my glasses while I was at my grandmother's house. Kira, is that a fact or an opinion? Is that an opinion? Why? Because... You don't know if you left it in your grandma house or if you could left it somewhere else. But can I find out? Yes, sir. All right. So if we can find out if it's true or false, that makes it a fact. We can, we can go, we can go back. We can ask our grandmother. We can look around and observe, um, and we can prove whether that is true or false. So that still makes it a fact. Remember, even if it's incorrect, as long as we can prove whether it's true or false, it is still a fact. Uh, space travel is an important endeavor. Verlin, space travel is an important endeavor. Is that a fact or an opinion? I'm just going to put my phone on silent, sorry.
Think about it. Think about it. Space travel is an important endeavor. Fact or opinion? It could be a fact. Can we measure if something is important? It is an opinion. Thank you, Kira. Um, it might be important to some people, but it might not be important to other people, right? Uh, so the word, remember, we got to look out for those, those signal words that talk about feelings, talk about beliefs. The word important um, is something that is subjective. Some people might think it's important. Other people might not. And that's what makes it an opinion. We cannot really prove it. It's about feelings. All right. Chocolate ice cream is more delicious than vanilla ice cream. Alexia, is that a fact or an opinion? Fact. You don't sound like Alexia. Alexia is still waiting on you. Chocolate ice cream is more delicious than vanilla ice cream. Is that statement a fact or an opinion? That's a opinion. Well, it's an opinion. It, if you're asking me, I, well, I think it's opinion because to other people, it might not be. And to me, it might be the most delicious or the best ice cream I ever taste. Um, so excellent, I excellent. So, right. So, to you, it might be delicious, to other people, it might not be delicious, right? So, the word delicious. So, if I put that out to other people, it can be a it can be an opinion, but if I have tasted it and I know exactly or something like that, like. I know the difference or something like that, then I could say that this statement is a fact. Mm, I think uh, for it to be a fact, uh, it would have to be true for everybody. Right? Right? Something that we have to be able to measure. Malik, you okay. had something? So that means it's an opinion. It's an opinion, it's, yes. Yeah. Even if... Even if a lot of people around us agree, it's still an opinion. It's not something that we can measure. Um, uh, we can't really measure. So far, we haven't figured out how to measure deliciousness. So that's not really something that we can do. That's based on some people's beliefs, some people's thoughts. Great. All right. So sounds like you, we've, we're getting there uh, when it comes to fact and opinion. Uh, so then uh, now for the juicy part, I hope I still have you guys. What time is our class end? What time are we supposed to get out of here? 10.05. 10.05? Really? Yeah, it's 10.05. Yes, 10.05. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so... We get to the juicy part. This was the part that uh, Vera was asking about earlier. A myth. What is a myth? So when we're talking about myths, um, we're talking about traditional stories, right? And these are stories that are told for a particular purpose. When people are trying to understand the world around them or trying to explain something about either their natural world or their society, society being the group of people that they belong to, they tend to come up with certain stories, right? That would explain um, how we got here or how this thing started. So uh, the word myth is similar to words like legends or tales or stories. And they're usually not based on things that we can measure, right? They're usually based mostly on people's feelings or beliefs especially beliefs when it comes to myths connected to religion. Um, or they're so old that 
uh, and they've been told over and over and changed a little bit each time. Uh, they're so old that we can't really connect them to what they were originally based, based on. Um, so some myths are based in truth, based in things that actually happened, based on some kind of historical record, but they've been told and they've been retold and they change each time and now we don't even recognize them. Somebody might have said that um, Hercules was a good guy and then as the story goes on, he becomes a great guy. And then as the story goes on, he becomes an incredible guy. And then a couple thousand years later, he's no longer a guy. He was, in fact, a god and all-powerful and stronger than anything. Um, and so these stories change over time. Again, I've included a video that you guys can watch on your own time um, to, to get an idea of that. So... Uh, Bear mentioned at the beginning of class, um, are we referring to myths kind of like Aphrodite and Hercules and those people? Uh, yes, they've entered into mythology. It's possible that they might have been based on real people, um, but the stories being told about those people over time has changed to the point that they've become legendary. They've become something um, larger than life, more than reality. Does that mean that they're no longer true? Does that mean that these people's beliefs are false? Well, we avoid making those judgments about myths, about mythology. Um, we can't really prove if it's true or false uh, anymore because it's been so long, um, but it may be that they were based on something that someone observed or measured or wrote down once upon a time. Uh, on the other hand, we have, ah, here we go again. Hush, hush you. On the other hand, um, stop it. We have what we refer to, ah, go back. On the other hand, we have what we refer to as theories. And uh, a lot of times you might hear these described as scientific theories, scientific theory of gravity. What is a theory then? Well, it's like myths in that it attempts to explain something about the world or explain something about a society, a, a group of people. Um, but rather than using stories that have been passed down from generation to generation, uh, a theory uses a group of facts, uses a bunch of facts, puts them together, and creates uh, uh, an ability for us to make an educated guess. Um, we've found out that uh, these people used to travel. We found out that they used to wear clothes that would help them from a, a help them in a colder climate. We found out that they brought certain foods with them. So we can form a theory, we can make a guess that these people were not, did not start in this part of the world. Instead, they migrated or they traveled from somewhere that was colder. So we use facts, we use measurable, observable information in order to come up with an educated guess about, uh, that would explain something about our world or something about our society. So a myth is a story. Can't say that it's true, can't say that it's false. Um, but it's been told over and over and over, and people believe in them, um, they believe in them very strongly sometimes. A theory is a combination of certain facts that allow us to make guesses um, about the world around us. Is that clear? Anybody, can anybody think of any myths that they know of? I know Ver mentioned uh, Aphrodite, a lot of the Greek myths. Anybody else have any examples? La Llorona. La Llorona, yeah, okay, yeah. So those folk stories, those folk tales, those are also myths, right? Um, now, was there ever a woman who 
lost her children and cried all night? Maybe. Does she still wander around and kidnap people and drown them? It's true. It's possible. Okay. It's okay. All right. It's, it's, sorry. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> um, I'm being argued with. Um, it's possible. Um, but we, we can no longer really prove it. The, the story has gone and it's become so big that it's changed over time. Um, uh, can anybody think of a theory? That one might be a harder one. Anybody know of any theories, any groups of observable facts that allow us to make certain guesses about things? Hmm. Okay, all right. Well, I'll actually give you one. I, I mentioned one earlier, uh, the theory of gravity. The truth is, guys, we don't actually know what gravity is or how it works. We know that it does certain things, and because of the other facts that we know, we can make guesses, um, but we don't, we don't actually know for sure. It is still just a theory. It is a group of facts that we can put together in order to make predictions about uh, that would explain something about our world, about our universe. Um, okay. Uh, so I think, oh, we got two minutes left. Um, do, 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 do. All right. Uh, so let's summarize really quickly. I'm going to ask you guys to explain these in single sentences. Um, Arlen. Can you explain in a single sentence, I'll wait until you're finished chewing. <laughs> Shouldn't be eating in my class. Can you explain in a single sentence, what is a fact? Something that can be proven. All right, how can, can it be proven? Something? You just write these down. Why aren't you writing nothing down? Uh, right now, sir. Yeah, there you go. Shyler. Shyler, uh, can you explain to us in a complete sentence what is an opinion? This one's for Shyler. An opinion is not the full truth. It is what someone thinks. Er. 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 Um. Um. Um, one more word, thinks or, so we can say it's what someone thinks or feels or believes, right? Yes, An sir. Opinion is... Or have experienced it. Sorry, say again? Or they have experienced it before. No, 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 no. <laughs> say right mm, no, I'm not sure. Opinion. Yeah, yeah. That, that would be referring to fact. Okay, okay. So a fact is uh, based on what someone has observed or experienced, as Alexa, was, as Alexa said. Observed, experienced, uh, it can be measured, or has been written down. That would make something a fact, right? So a fact is anything we can observe, experience, measure, or has been written down. That sound good? Yes, sir. All right. Um, and as Shiler said, an opinion is based on people's feelings, beliefs. What was the other one? What someone thinks, feels, or believes. That's it. Chelsea. Chelsea, can you explain in a single sentence, what is a myth? A story that someone has like passed down that some people might believe and some people might not believe. Excellent. That's good. Uh, so a myth is a story that gets passed down that some people might believe, but some people might not. 
right? Uh, Ineas, what is a theory? Hmm. Hmm. Hopefully he's quiet because he's thinking hard about how he wants to phrase this sentence. Okay, anybody want to help Ineas out? What is a theory? Can we explain that in a single sentence? Mm. A nun history? What do you mean by a nun history? All right, uh, so a theory is a group of facts that allow us to make a guess about some, no wait, let's, let's try that again. A theory is a group of facts that help us explain something about our world. Right, so it's like a hypothesis, um, uh, but it's not proven for sure yet. That's good. A theory is a group of facts that allow us to make a guess about... Oh, I said guess again. <sighs> All right. A theory is a group of facts that help us explain something about our world or our society. So it's like a hypothesis, but it's not proven yet, right? When we make a hypothesis, we make an educated guess about something, and then we go out and we prove it. Uh, a theory isn't proven for sure. It might be true, might be false, but it includes a bunch of facts that we can look at um, and it will help us explain something about the world or about our society. Uh, remember, when you're taking your notes, the bottom of your page is for your summaries and we summarize based on our guiding questions. So the sentences that we just came up with, I'm gonna put this video up um, when in a, in a couple hours, the sentences that we just came up with, those are what we can use for our summary. Sound good, guys? Any questions? Any of this still, like, weird? I'm sure some of it is still a little weird, but we'll have some opportunities to go over it again and again and again. Okay. All right. Sounds like we're good for now. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, you guys have been uh, so great. I love the participation. Um, I love the input that I get from you guys. All right. Arlen asks again, what is a theory? A theory is a group of facts that help us explain something about the world around us or about our society. And by society, I mean... Uh, the people that we live with, that we're a part of, right? Um, okay, uh, thanks again for coming out, guys. Um, uh, we're going to wrap up here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, I, I mistimed it. Bye.